Hey guys, it's Aku. I am back with a new video. I know it has been forever and two years since I have uploaded a video or at least uploaded one that I've left on my channel. Anyway, uh, my life has been quite hectic and so I have recorded videos. I just have not had the ability to edit and upload them. So for 2020, I'm trying to do better guys. So help me do better by leaving a comment below on what videos you would like to see so that you can encourage me to actually record upload and post there's something on my camera that's leaving a little hazy mark so please ignore that Today's review is going to be on Tretinoin 0.1% gel. So the other videos I did were on the Tretinoin cream. Now, I'm just going to let you guys know that this was my first time using the gel. This is what the tube that I used looked like. Right now, this video is just going to be a review on how the product works on my skin. So as I stated before, I have used the 0.05% strength cream and the 0.1% strength cream for years. So I'm very well versed in how those work on my skin so this video would be me telling you how the 0.1% gel formulation and strength had a new product reaction to my skin so obviously I had told you guys in the first video if you have not seen the first videos I do recommend that you watch those first because in those I give a description of what to expect what the reactions are what's normal what's abnormal how often you should use it all of that kind of information that will kind of let you understand this a little better because I'm going to try and make this like a breeze through. So I had a new product reaction to this one, meaning around my mouth got a little dry. This side started to crack a little bit around my eyes, did feel dry and tight as if they were gonna crack. However, I was not applying the cream to those areas directly. This is how I apply the Tretinoin gel. This is how much I'm applying to my finger. Dab here, I dab here, I dab here, I dab here, here, and here. If it's not enough, I take a little smidgen here. Now, these are my target areas. From where my ear is, along the jawline, sides of my cheeks, and then here and here, I bring it out to the ear area. I'm skipping the corners of my mouth completely. So I'm going from the high point of my cheekbone and nose to where the ear area is and coming down, bringing down any excess cream down to the neck area. Same here. So you have the application for that area. So as you can see the way I'm bringing it in, I'm avoiding this area completely, right? And then across my forehead, I'm just going across the area and coming down the sides. So now that you see how I normally apply it, I apply it that way because as I told you guys, around the eyes, around the mouth are sensitive areas. You wanna avoid these thin areas. If you do not trust yourself with the application or applying the cream and being able to avoid those areas, I highly recommend you put an emollient, a moisturizer, a balm or a butter around your eyes, around your mouth to act as a barrier so that you can keep the cream from getting there because as I said previously you don't want the dry crack feeling irritated stinging feeling you don't need that in your life okay you can avoid that completely so as you see this is how I applied it I have been using this Tretinoin gel if you're not familiar with my reviews I use everything three four times before I bring you the review the Tretinoin gel I have been using since let's say it's about four to five months so I've used it on my face I've used it on my underarms and I've used it on my bikini line if you want a review of Tretinoin gel on your bikini area hit the thumbs up button and I'll be sure to come back and give you that review. Today I'm just giving you the review of the face. I've used it on all of these areas multiple times. To be someone who has skin, I don't have loads of acne, I don't have a lot of skin problems. What I do have is I get hyper. So if I'm getting a bump on my face, like there are some here but they don't actually come to the service whether I touch them or not they will leave a dark spot and then on top of that I have moles beauty marks and skin tags all over my face so obviously I just don't want it to look like my face is covered in little dark spots you can't tell what's what I just like for my skin to look clear and healthy so tretinoin does not change your complexion it does not make you lighter it does not make you a different shade of brown all it does is help peel off the dead skin and unveil new healthy skin so for you to maximize the product you want to be using facial cleansers that are mild so they're not irritating you while you're using them and then a moisturizer that's hydrating moisturizing um you know things that really feed your skin to help it be its optimal best so i did record some of the peelings
with the gel I was after let's say the second to third use I was able to tell that the tretinoin gel is far more strong than the cream I use mine daily because I know how my skin tolerates the product. I do not recommend a new user to start off using this product daily, but for the most part, it's not very drastic or dramatic. I didn't peel full face, like my entire face doesn't peel off like a sheet mask, but like here will peel one day, here will peel another day, here will peel another day, here will start to peel dry. You can kind of see it. So as I stated in previous videos, while I'm using the cream and peeling, I try to use facial wash that are mild very mild you don't want to aggravate your skin you don't want to use anything with alpha hydroxy acids or beta hydroxy acids or any kind of acids in it because tretinoin is a retonic acid itself so if you add something else with the acid in it you're going to compound it it's going to compound the peeling and it might compound the reaction to make it more of a burn more of a sting more of an itch than you necessarily need to tolerate this is a product that you want to use long term slow and consistently to get the best results so I'm just gonna give you an up close of my skin so this is my skin today so as you guys can see like you can see where there are little bumps but you can see that they shine on my skin. I did apply the products my hyperpigmentation is usually here gets a little darker here gets a little darker maybe a little bit around here and then if I've had a bump or if there's one hair in particular that I pluck here all the time it leaves a dark mark here those things, I just like to have them completely removed. I will say I like the tretinoin gel. It followed the instructions I gave in my first two videos. And this product will work amazingly, amazingly, to helping you have clearer, healthier skin. Next, I'm just going to give you a review of the website that I bought it from. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share.